My name is Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Trapix Quantum magnetic filter onto a central heating system. So first of all what we're going to do, we're going to drain the central heating system down and we're going to cut into this pipe work and we're going to install the filter. Do you need a magnetic filter on your central heating system? Well in my opinion it's a, it's a very good idea to have a central heating filter and what it does is when you install a new boiler or even on an old boiler you'll have muck and sludge going around the system so radiators corrode so you'll have a little bit of magnetite from that and your filter will help protect the boiler so it'll stop or help to stop the sludge going into the boiler and blocking up things like plate heat exchangers and diverter valves and things like that so i think it's a very good idea to have a filter on your system with a quantum filter how this works just take that apart First of all, it has got the valves on, on this one. So if you're gonna strip this down, obviously, and it was on the system, you turn the valves off and you can take that apart. On this, it does have three O-rings. So you've got two O-rings on there and you've also got an O-ring in there. It's got a big magnet in there. And what, how, what happens with that is, as the water's going around the system, the magnetite that's in that water will, will stick onto onto there. So if you're going to clean it out, you just turn your valves off, take this apart and you can just clean that out nice and easy. So what we'll do now, we'll install it onto this central heating system. So the first thing we need to do, we need to switch the power off on the heat on the heating system on the boiler and then we're going to drain the system down. So if we go to the radiator, you can see on here we've got a drain off. So we'll just get us hose, put us hose onto it, and then we'll just open the drain off, and then we can just drain it down. So we've drained the system down now. Now we check it just to make sure that it is drained down. So if you've got a pressure gauge, just have a look at the pressure gauge. We don't want any nasty surprises when we cut into the pipe work. Also, if we look on the box, we can see it's got a detailed diagram on there, and it shows you how much to cut out. We're now gonna mark the pipe, and then we're gonna cut it out. So we're just going to cut out 140 millimetres on this one. So it's important to remember that we're putting the filter onto the return pipework. On this one, the flow of the water is going in this direction. So that's the return back into the boiler. And you need to look on the box and make sure that you've got the filter the right way around. What I'm going to do is just take the nuts off on this. I'll just drop that on the floor, just put that on there. You can put a bit of paste on these if you want, so you can put some jointing compound on. Just helps with leaks, to be honest, when you tighten the olives up. So just put them on there. This can be a little bit awkward, it can be a little bit tight. Put that on there, and then we're just gonna tighten this up. So that's the filler fully installed now. All you need to do now is repressurize the boiler or top the boiler back up. You may need to go around and bleed some of the radiators as well. And then we can just turn the boiler on and then that should be working, protecting your boiler. If we have a look at this, we've got the magnet there. Strong magnet, 10,000 gauze magnet. This is a little bit of a different design than some of the other filters. This is for space saving. So it may be that you could use this on like an open vent boiler, on top up boiler, or even if you've not got much space under a boiler, because it comes out this way. Just strip this down. Just show you inside there. So if you did want to flush it out and clean it out, you can clean it out. As I say, it's got a 25 year warranty on this filter. It's brass, so it's quality. It's not going to leak. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. Put a comment below and let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next video.